So I ask you this gently but very pointedly. What if personality is tied to phosphorus? What if aggression isn't inherited but ingested from nutrient deficient diets? And what if whitewashed violence was a system of soil starvation? What if the historical horrors of the Crusades, the colonization, the chains weren't just evil acts, but they were echoes of environmental malnourishment? Not just famine of food, but of frequency, function, and faith. Let's talk about the science. See, Europe after the Ice Age was stripped of its top soil. What was left? Glaciatic, nutrient, barren terrain. That means crops were depleted of zinc, magnesium, iodine, and selenium. Minerals that do more than just strengthen your bones. They stabilize your mind. They fuel fertility. They protect perception. See, selenium deficiency equals sterilization and spiritual dullness. When you have a lack of zinc, it produces irritability, impulse, and irrationality. When you lack iodine, you have cognitive decline and decision distortion. Now compare that to Africa's iron-rich red soil where sunbathed vegetation nourishes both the body and the soul. There's rhythm in the roots, light in the leaves, and wisdom in the water. But I want to take this a little bit deeper because there's much more to this. And I've talked to you guys about the melanin in the brain, right? Well, the pineal gland, often referred to the third eye in some mystical new age myths, is a biological reality, a creation of God himself. He placed it in the center of our brains to govern melatonin, regulate circadian rhythms, and as ancient cultures understood, it assists with perceptions beyond the physical senses. But here's where we must be clear. Just because the pineal gland is spiritually sensitive doesn't mean that we are to pursue spiritual power without submission. See, what God created to help us connect with his creation Satan perverted it to counterfeit connections, offering frequencies, vibrations, and ascensions without the access key. See, Yahusha, the Messiah, and the Holy Spirit are the access key. So yes, frequency does exist. Vibration is real. And energy is actually factual. But we don't worship the creation. We worship the creator who designed it. See, the design is divine. But without the designer, you're illegally entering spiritual realms that are not powered by the Holy Spirit.